it was a record-breaking win. All hail the Queen of Queens. Britain's first female Grand Slam singles champ for 44 years, cheered all the way by friends at her old club in Beckenham. 36 hours on, those who have been part of her journey are still pinching themselves. Not sure it has sunk in yet. I, I feel like I have to keep repeating it out loud. Emma Raducanu just won the US Open, coming through qualifying without dropping a set. I mean, that is just a remarkable achievement. It really is. It, it's just inspiring. These kids in Roehampton agree. Some had never picked up a racket before today's taster session. She inspired me because she believed, she believed in herself and she tried her best and she worked hard. That's really special to me because it means to me to never give up even though your dreams are quite far away. I think it doesn't really matter where you're from or anything really. It just matters if you have the inspiration and the hope. What is the message to younger athletes out there? If you just do the best you can with every single day, time flies and uh, you can really achieve anything with inner belief. Plans are now underway to give a, a hero's return. I think thousands of people in Bromley would like to come out and pay tribute to what is frankly an absolutely awesome achievement. The council haven't ruled anything out from awarding the freedom of the borough, renaming roads or even an open top bus tour. We're waiting to hear from Emma's people. Obviously, we'd like to know what she would like to do. She's certainly done something extraordinary, hasn't she? And it needs celebrating in a very big way. I guess the question is, how many more of these celebrations are we going to have over the years? So uh, maybe more buses over time? We'll see. With two and a half million dollars prize money already banked, there'll be a fortune to go alongside fame. For now, though, Emma says she has no plans beyond enjoying this magic moment. Martin Stew, ITV News.